today I'm gonna try to put the push bumper in place. Um, when I got the bumper two weeks ago, um, this measurement from here to here, it was 30, um, 31 inches uh, wide. I knew there was a good chance it didn't work. The push bumper for this particular vehicle, uh, 89 to 91, um, were very expensive. I mean, all the ones I found, they were up in the uh, anywhere from 300 to um, 400 bucks or 450. Uh, this one, it was kind of too good to be true. This one's 50 bucks only plus gas, you know, like I said in the other video um, I only spent 70 bucks on it uh, But uh, based on everything else I saw online um, from basically from 73 to um, To 87 um, Some minor changes uh, in the front or bumper of the square bodies, but it wasn't that much So I, I was very uh, again. I was very optimistic that it was gonna kind of work some minor modifications but it was gonna fit anyway so I got a bumper here I tried it on this match there was no issue the mountain points they were a little bit off and also the bumper that I got which I'm gonna show you guys now um, it kind of hooked behind uh, the bumper as well into the frame um, that being said uh, I believe that the 73 to 87 uh whether it's k5 suburban or um uh, truck or uh, uh c10 um this bumper here this plastic here and the shape of the bumper right here it was a little bit different let's see this one opens up oh yeah so this right here it's a, it's a little this right here is different anyway so when I tried to put the bumper on, it didn't didn't go in, and underneath I couldn't slide it in either. So um, I ended up getting a piece of wire, right? So I put the wire here, and I just I just wanted to see what was the difference. It's not the uh, softest wire, but I just needed something that was soft enough to be able to bend and um, and hold the shape as well. So, that's all I wanted to do, kind of get everything in there. That was it. So, I was able to get a pretty decent shape of the bumper. I know it's hard to see with the wire, it's very thin. And then, let's jump with the shape of the bumper onto a cardboard box. And this one you can definitely see a little bit better. Right here. Once I did that, I came back again and I measure everything one more time. So there, put it this way. You can pretty much see right here how so that is that will be the correct shape or at least pretty close shape all right so i got it all set up here so this is the one that I already cut. This is the one that's, that needs to be cut. And this is obviously the little uh, template that I made to cut everything, right? So as you can see, everything matches pretty good. Um, now I don't have a plasma cutter or a torch. So what I ended up doing was I went to Home Depot and I found these Diablo blades. They were made for, to cut uh, thick metal and they're used on a jitsu. So I got my jitsu out earlier um, and I was able to cut this one. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but for this small modification, they do they do work pretty good. Um, so hopefully everything matches once I cut this one, I'll put it back together, then I put it back on the thing. Uh, the one thing is this bracket here, uh, obviously had to be cut out. This, I'll have to bring it back to my buddy 
and re-weld it in, in a different location. Um, there is a, might be mounted on this here or there's another opening right here. Or this one, not sure. But once I get the bumper hooked up, um, of course, I will figure that out. So here you have it. It's not, I'm, I'm almost done here. It's not the fastest thing. It's like 10 minutes in, not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, but I had to get a grinder out because I had to cut this off. And then also I got this little piece of wood here just to keep it nice steady base. And yeah, you just go around. All right, look at that. Look at the cut. That's a really, really good cut. I'm very impressed. Just uh, at a jigsaw to cut that thick metal like this. It's not bad. I'm gonna hit it with a grinder just to smooth everything. And that should be good. Okay, so I ran into a few issues. Um, I guess you know if you want to spend the 300 bucks just buy it if not then uh this is some of the issues i ran into this hole here i did put in the wrong spot well a little bit off anyway i got it fixed um these are the two new holes where they will poke into the uh frame this this from here up is really not needed um i'm gonna leave it there i don't care um i guess i either either someone screwed up as well and they uh cut a hole a torch a hole or it wasn't coming out who knows anyway um it's really not needed but i'm gonna leave it, it doesn't bother me um something else i did discover i had to cut a little more here back here and i had to make this right here a little more so now i just gonna i just gonna do is uh everything else i'm sorry everything else is is good there's no issues anywhere else uh so i just gonna read i'm gonna drill this hole in the bottom Drill this one, um, cut this right here, this off. So otherwise it will not swing underneath the bumper. And cut this right here so it will go up in front of the bumper. Um, and then I just discovered something, I wasn't even paying attention about this, but this this right here, it actually matches the um, tow hooks. So I, I guess whatever original truck this was, um, it already had tow hooks on the push bumper. Um. Yes, buddy? Do you, want, do you want the fact about Bigfoot Paleon Talks never knew yeah. uh, an yeah. animal a Bigfoot could do? Bigfoot? Yeah. 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 Ye
That's a good look. Clover, let's go. Okay, everyone, job is done. I had to wait a couple of days because it has been raining nonstop. But look at this, beautiful sunny day today. Anyway, let me show you guys how the finished product looks like. I got those lights, um, Amazon. They're not KC or anything, they're like uh, blazers, I think they call. Uh, 15 bucks a piece. I had to make a little little stainless steel bracket right here so I can hold them in place. I put something else better down the road. Let me show you underneath uh, to see the uh, the spacers that I had to create and everything else. Oh, one thing is, if you have the other model, the one that's all welded, you might have to take the bumper off because you won't be like this one. So I took it apart and I was able to put this each side sideways and then kind of like put it sideways and bring it up and then put them in place. Um, again, if you have the welded one, you won't be able to do that. You might have to just uh, take the bumper off. Or, um, if you have this model, like the 89 Suburbans, um, this is where the, the uh, push bumper gets mounted on, right here. So you can probably cut this off right here, put it sideways, um, weld it, re-drill, and then this is the uh, mounting uh, holes for the uh, push bumper and then probably you won't have to create uh, any spacers or anything behind like I did hope the camera can see this so anyway this is where it's uh it's both the two back here that's the uh, the the other uh, tow hook that I cut up and I used it as a spacer and back here and of course the other side looks the same the tow hook this is the back of it and again that the other spacer so yeah that's how it looks like i like it uh took a little bit of time i think uh from beginning to end i think it took about four hours and that was chasing the kids around and everything else. Um, should be very simple. Again, if you have a plasma cutter, it will make cutting a lot easier. But, you know, even with a $10 uh, jitsu blades, uh, could be done. Okay, well, I um, hope you guys uh, liked this video. Um, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.